Hey Capricorns, how are you guys doing? Welcome to your May 2020 love reading. Okay, this will be a general love reading for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. If you don't know your Moon and Rising, there should be a link in my description. Click on that. You can find out your Moon and Rising. And then I would highly recommend you go in and watch those videos um, to get more clarity in your love life for the month of May. And in case the messages here don't resonate with you, they may resonate better for your Moon and Rising video, okay? So let me just slide over a little bit. Okay, sorry. So Capricorns, this is going to be a love reading, okay? Um, no matter your status, whether you're single, whether you are you know, married, whether you're in a point of separation, this is going to be a general overall look at what's going on for you in love, what's the energy surrounding you in your romantic life. Um, even if you're just, you know, you have feelings for someone, but you haven't spoke those feelings yet, this will resonate or should resonate with, you know, with you no matter what your, your status is. So it's not just for people in relationships. So I'm going to use this deck. This is a deck that I put together and um, I'm going to get the overall baseline energy of what is going on in your love life, what to expect in the month of May. And then I'm going to clarify it with another deck and then we'll pull an oracle card, okay, for overall message and advice from universe. So let's get into it. Universe, please give me messages for Capricorn sun moon and rising for the month of may when it comes to their love life what is the energy surrounding them or what's the energy going on in their love life for the month of may oh capricorns sorrow is coming out right away and also um if you guys are interested in any of the jewelry that i'm wearing during this video you can go on to um illasparks.com i'm gonna leave that link there for you she has a ton of great jewelry shipping is free so that's great and um she has a ton of uh zodiac pieces so a lot of like um uh, pendants bracelets it's really really pretty you guys should check it out so definitely check out this website the link will be in my description as well all right so sorrows coming out capricorns you guys are a little bit sad about something some of you could be sad because you're separated from the person that you love i know a lot of people who are under quarantine right now who don't live with their significant other are pretty sad you know you guys are sad that you're not able to connect or be with each other for others of you there's this sadness because of a breakup a separation we will clarify and see but i see sadness somehow intertwined in your love life capricorn okay let's get more cards for Capricorn in their love life what's the energy surrounding Capricorns and you have the father some of you could be dealing with the Leo all right but I do get a strong um, male energy coming up now with the father this also could talk about uh, the father of your children for some of you you could be a father of children if you're a male watching this we'll clarify this very nice though you have positive outcome so there's something that you're really sad about i feel like it's going to turn out well with the positive outcome card here um, there could be some sort of sorrow involving um, a person here who could be a little stubborn could be a little hard to convince uh, someone who is very powerful but also um, is able to take charge in situations i feel like you are going to go from a state of sadness to a state of taking charge of the situation and that's what's going to help you get to a more positive outcome in your love life we'll pull three more cards and then we'll clarify what's the energy surrounding capricorn what's the outcome energy that's what i want to see what is the outcome to the situation here for capricorns in their love life what's the outcome Oh, oh, okay, lots of cards. We're gonna take them all back. <laughs> take them all back for right now. Let's get three cards, please. Three more cards for the outcome. All right. You have the judge, you have the child. Yeah, you see, there is this dynamic here of like a family, a family unit. Mother, father, child, okay? Some of you could have situations where you're going to court or you're needing the court to um get involved 
somehow. Um, I know right now because of the pandemic that may be on hold, but i um, sorry, I get a little OCD about the cards. <laughs> um, there's this energy about children or needing some type of intervention or making a decision. Many of you could be also making a decision that may affect the family unit, right? Maybe affecting um, your child, but there's children involved somehow here with the child card. One last card for what's going on for Capricorn, and then we're going to clarify. So if this story isn't resonate, the storyline isn't resonating with you now, it may resonate once I start to clarify. Okay, and then you have sex. Wow, at the bottom of your deck, family. Like I said, family is its something very involved with like the family unit. Um, there could be issues with, for some of you, you may be having issues like the sex life is suffering or you guys haven't been having sex or maybe you've been wanting to have a child but it hasn't been happening for you for some of you Capricorns out there. Um, some of you are needing to make a decision you could have found out there may be some type of infidelity so let's clarify with another deck here and see exactly what's going on here for Capricorn all right so first I want to clarify sorrow so universe why is sorrow here please clarify sorrow for Capricorns okay that came out right away two of pentacles yeah you see there is some need to make a decision here you're wanting to make a decision you're going back and forth you know that you have to make some type of decision here or um you're you're kind of your emotions are up and down as well back and forth um if you are unhappy in a situation that you're in right now you may be staying because you have children or they're somehow um yeah, you see, even the Six of Pentacles is at the bottom of your deck. So children is very heavy here. Um, trying to make some decisions, weighing back and forth. Why is the father here? Clarify the father. Clarify the father. Okay, Seven of Pentacles came out for the father here. I feel like someone has put in a lot of effort they're trying to put in a lot of effort to make things work it could be you it could be the person you're involved with okay someone's putting in a lot of effort to make things work in a situation here okay for others of you who are not in this dynamic this family dynamic um, you guys could have this long-term situation with someone i feel like you guys are like on and off back and forth um you have put a lot of effort into someone that you're really into maybe you guys just have a very casual relationship where it's just sex and it hasn't turned into something <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> and it hasn't um turned into something serious for others of you okay i'm getting heavy look you even have the empress here for some of you you guys may have found out that you're pregnant seriously there is so much energy of like children here um you have the father here someone just got results with their father right like on some worry shit <laughs> um i'm sorry to laugh because i know you know it's not funny here with the sorrow card but some of you could have even found out that you're pregnant and you're going back and forth like, should I keep it? Should I not? You guys got heavy decisions to make, Capricorn. You know, and the, the circumstance that we're in right now doesn't really help. So this is a, a big decision that you have to make. Wow, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. I hope you guys are able to follow along with me because I know there's a lot of different storylines here, but there are a lot of different Capricorns here, right? We're all not We're not all living the same life, so... Yeah, I see a lot of different scenarios here. Someone has just found out they're pregnant. Someone's trying to decide if they want it or not. Um, wow. Or maybe some of you are struggling because you want to have children, but maybe the other person doesn't. A lot's happening here right now. What's the positive outcome? That could be your pregnancy result. What is this positive outcome? Okay, you have Aries jumping out here. 
Aries is here, the Emperor. You have this very strong male presence here, Capricorn. Okay, this could be an older man. For some of you, I do get a literal father, which is a little creepy because this is a love reading. <laughs> but I get like this sense like this person is an older gentleman. This is someone um, who's more established, uh, could be older than you. Um, this person could even be already involved. Oh, I'm sorry about that lighting. Let me see if I can fix that glare. That sucks. Let me just try to get the glare off. All right, much better. So this could be the father. Oh, wow. But again, I get the sense like someone's taking control of a situation so that they can get the results that they want. Capricorn, I feel like that very much may be you. That sounds like a Capricorn thing to do, right? Situation is a little unbalanced. Somebody's going to take the reins here, take control of the situation. I feel like it's you. Why is the judge here? Why is the judge here? Oh, oh this one wants to come out. Yeah. Four of Cups. Many of you, you know, you don't want to be put in this position where you have to make a choice. Um, many of you don't like the options that you have. Um, it's almost like you need to choose and you're being a little avoidant of it. And though you know that you have the power, you have the sole, outcome, the sole power to determine the outcome. Why is the child here? Why is the child here? The nine of wands. Someone's feeling very protective of like the child or protective of something very innocent, protective of something that they're optimistic about maybe they you were very optimistic about something but someone is being kind of guarded about it tell me more about the child the five of cups see there's all this sorrow all this sadness happening here surrounding a child i pray to god none of you have lost a child if you have my condolences but i see a lot of sadness and sorrow around children oh wow even in all of these cards, sadness, sadness, sadness. Like I said before, some of you are, are leaving a situation with the father of your kids. Some of you are struggling with the fact that you want children. Some of you, um, uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Some of you found out that you were pregnant and these are like very stressful times to be pregnant you're not really that happy about it why is sex here why is sex here and then we're gonna pull eight of pentacles this could be someone you work with there's a lot of pentacles around this person lots of pentacles a lot of earth energy it could be taurus virgo capricorn or this could be you I wouldn't be surprised Capricorn mixing uh, work and pleasure together because you guys work so much. It's like the only time you get to meet people is when you're working. Um, but this could say that, you know, you have this relationship with someone that you possibly worked with or you're trying to build it up from sex to something a little bit more, um, a little bit more serious. What's the overall outcome here for Capricorns? Overall outcome here for Capricorns in their love life in the month of May. Justice. Okay, the card of Libra. A lot of judge, judge here. Okay, if you guys are de dealing with court situations or something that's bringing you sorrow, it seems like things are going to go in your favor here. You have positive outcome here, so I wouldn't be worried. Um, something that you've been struggling with and very sad about, there's going to be justice granted to you. Okay? Um, a decision will be made. I'm feeling like from a higher, higher power, higher being, someone with higher authority. But you are going to get what it is that you want here. 
Let's pull from the Romance Angels card and see what advice the universe wants to give you in your love life. Universe, what advice do you have for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, and Rising in their love life for, for the month of May 2020? What is the advice for Capricorns? Codependencies. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So again, it seems like you guys are involved in some sort of codependent relationship. Could again have to do right with because there's children involved. You guys have to co-parent. There's this co-need. Um, maybe you're unhappy where you are right now, but you guys are so intertwined financially and, and codependent on one another that it's very hard to. Um, this codependency needs to end, and I and I feel like you you know it. You really really know it. Um, a decision seems to be made here with a positive outcome, which is good. I feel like there's this energy of someone who's very controlling or trying to control you, Capricorn. Um, if you're a cross watcher and you feel like the Capricorn is the one doing all of this, definitely feel free to change the roles. Um, but that's the energy that I got here for the majority of you. Okay. If this didn't resonate with you, check your moon and rising and see also Venus sign and see if that resonates better. But this is the storyline for Capricorn in May. Okay. So a decision needs to be made here to end some sort of codependent relationship where you're unhappy. You're not getting the results that you want. All right, Capricorns. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys are healthy and safe and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.